Hey everybody, how you all doing? Now I've had a lot of requests for doing a home back workout. Now, as always, and as I say every single time, the biggest problem with training at home, especially your back, is that you seriously need to find exercises that's gonna up the load and increase the intensity because your back is a big muscle and it needs a lot of load to make it work and to give it a good exercise and for it to grow. Now the secret to training at home is to improvise, to find exercises similar to the ones that you do at the gym that can provide you with the same intensity and the same load. And today I'm gonna to show you three very powerful and effective back exercises you can do at home that's gonna get you a crazy, massive and sexy back. Let's have a look at these three exercises. Now the first exercise we're gonna do is what you would call in a gym a wide arm row. Now, if you're at home, you can do this around a tree. I'm gonna do it on my usual rail. Two rails are perfect, you can do so many exercises. Now the problem is, if I were to just do a normal row, from here, and you put your feet up against the bottom, this is pretty effective, and maybe you can do it to warm up. But the problem is, I can probably do 30 or 40 of these. It's not gonna be a problem, and that's why we have done the little exercise band. It can pull you back and then you can work a little bit harder. So what you do is get into this exercise band, put it around your hips. And now, if you do the same exercise, nice and wide grip, it really provides you with a lot of resistance. And I'll probably not be able to do more than 15 or 20 of these. And if it's too easy, you can either move the exercise band higher towards your chest to pull even more, or provide or use a tighter exercise band that makes it a lot harder. And this is the first exercise, and this really works your arms and your back extremely well. Now once the wide grip row worn you out, it's time to do what I call the punching back pull up. Now this is similar to a low pulley row in a gym and to prepare for this, you need something heavy. I use my punching bag, but you can use anything heavy and then you need a nice long rope. And you can do this, I'm doing it inside my house, but you can do this over a balcony or anywhere where you have a little bit of height. Now the first thing you do is just obviously attach whatever you have as a rope around whatever you have as a bit of weight and best thing is normally just to make a little bit of a, a eye in the rope first. And I've got sort of safety belt material here, which is flat, but you can use a rope, which is almost better than this. And then you stick that through, put the other half through the other bit of the eye, and then just pull it through. So you've got basically something hanging off it. And then all you do is we're gonna throw this off somewhere high in my case, again, over my rail. And then I'm gonna show you how to do this exercise effectively. Okay, so we're gonna put it over the rail here. And then we're gonna let this baby down nice and slowly. Get yourself positioned against your feet against the bottom of the rail. And then you let this thing down all the way to the bottom. And now, the working part of this exercise is pulling against up. You've probably seen some strongest men exercises similar to this. And you bring it up all the way to the bottom and then take it back down again. So now I've worked out as about three or four pulls to do that. So now I can make sure I start at the top, bring it here to the bottom. Next one, bring it to the bottom. Next one, bring it to the bottom, get stuck again. So to the bottom. To the bottom. Might be good to wear gloves for this as well. Then you let it back down again. And this it really is like a low pulley row in a gym. It's a great exercise. You take it from there, you bring it here, and you're really working your back. If you have gloves, might be a little bit better. Take nice big um, grips, and then try and do it with one hand to the bottom. The next one to the bottom. Let it back down again. And again, to the bottom to the bottom of your tummy. Let it back down again. And you can continue to do that. You can either work and do it for 30 seconds or get to 15 to 20 reps. 
it's too easy, make the weight harder. And my hands are pretty messed up already, so wear gloves when you do this one. But this is perfect, and it's exactly similar to a low pulley row that you do in the gym. And it's quite tough, it's gonna get you back working. Let's move on to the last exercise. Now when it comes to building your back, nothing gets it in shape like pull-ups. Now I've got a pull-up bar here today and I'm gonna show you how to do a few pull-ups and a few tricks on how to build up to doing a pull-up if you don't know how to do one yet or you can't do one because you're not strong enough yet. But when it comes to uh, exercise at the gym or at home that's gonna build your back, then the pull-ups always needs to be in there. Now, previously I've shown you how to do pull-ups hanging from the ceiling, hanging from a balcony, um, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it from a pull-up bar that I've got at home, but you don't need a pull-up bar to do pull-ups. You can go to the park, you can go anywhere where you can hang on something that's higher than you and you'll be able to do pull-ups. You can even use one of those door pull-up bars, which is also very effective. So pull-ups needs to be in your workout when it comes to back, no matter whether it's the home or at the gym. So we all know what a pull-up is, you can take it as wide as you want or as close as you want and then basically just pull yourself up all the way down, pull your way up, all the way down, pull yourself up. Now, problem is this, most people can't do a proper pull up yet. So what do you do? You do what is known as negatives. Now negatives is as powerful and as effective as normal pull ups. Negative just means that you're gonna do the negative part of the exercise and when it comes to a pull up, you basically grab nice and high, you jump up, and then you bring it down slowly. Try and do it to a three, four, five count. All the way down, okay? Jump back up, slowly down. And you basically try and do as many as you can of those, even if it is just five or six to start off with. And to be totally honest, it might be better to start off with this exercise, because it will be the hardest one. But this is a perfect exercise to finish off or start your workout. And if you wanna train your back, pull-ups definitely needs to be in there. That's basically the whole back workout for home. And as far as the structure, once again, we're gonna try and work between those eight and 15 reps, doing all these exercises. Start with one, do three sets, rest a minute, move on to the next exercise, and then the next exercise until you've completed all three exercises. And this is definitely gonna build your back at home. Until next time, guys, enjoy.